95 Will Rock Daily Rewind. a hot new health trend and it involves eating something and since today is taste it tuesday i thought why not give it a try tom Uh, the latest health advice from tiktok is to start eating dirt okay there's even a term for people who do it they call them dirt eaters no they just (laughs) crunchers i would go with dirt eaters Uh, (laughs) They say by eating the soil uh, in the form of clay, it's supposed to help with everything from gut health to acne. Okay, well, so don't, don't just many, scoop dirt out of your yard. I don't have too yard. many pimples, so I don't plan on eating dirt anytime. Well, well soon. how's your gut? I, everything's miserable. Okay. Here, all right. <laughs> but you're so happy. I'm so happy. Uh, Life is just so great. So most of the crunchers, again, that's what we call people that eat dirt. They prefer, uh, prefer it in the form of edible chunks of clay. So again, don't just grab like the, Where do I get the edible clay? <laughs> sites sell it using like flowerly language, like medium hard crunch and pleasant earthy taste. Where do I get a clay with a medium hard crunch and a pleasant earthy <laughs> I don't know. Is it down at the dirt bar? Um, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. We don't say. know there's, where I can get the edible. There's dirt. a video. I don't want to okay. click on it, or else, it, yeah. This it's will be my. Fine. This will be my sign that it's time to leave. <laughs> you're just out when I'm eating dirt. <laughs> you're just out in your new flop nom, house. Nom, nom. Your there's no dirt. Cabin. There's, no, there's no dirt. It's there's pavement all around. There's no nature there's near me. There's got to be some kind of clay. There's rocks. some weeds in the backyard. Can I? If I pull up the weeds, can I just eat the dirt Have off the roof? had dandelion it's delicious uh, it's horrible oh, yeah, my, no, my, like, my uncle made dandelion wine. wine it was not horrible. wine like actual dandelion oh, like put it on salad if i mean i was at the grand geneva for that fancy wine dinner mm-hmm. and the salad was was yard clippings yeah rich people think that oh i'm rich it's yard clippings so it must be good because i'm rich right. but it's still yard clippings right dandelions are still freaking weeds so yummy oh no so yummy these are this is like this is like kale's hillbilly cousin <laughs> Hey, y'all want to get in a salad? Hey, Carol, what's up? We're going to get in a salad. You want to come dandelion? Well, I'd like to be in a salad. <laughs> Man, dandelion is so stupid, he's everywhere. You want to get in a salad, dandelion? How would I get in the salad? <laughs> Man, we'll take him with, but I can't. These rich people eat anything. Kale and dandelion. I had it as gonna, like yeah. a, just a side. Ooh. It wasn't a salad. Now it was gonna, like. Now they're going to add rocks to it as croutons. <laughs> it was what? It was what? I don't even care. Leah's over there crunching on rocks on mm, croutons. Fiber, good. 95 Will Rock Daily Rewind. Volkswagen. People's car. Now known as the Boeing of the road. Uh Uh-oh. Earlier this year, you know, Boeing made headlines for a door plug ripped off in the middle of a flight, creating a hole in the side of the airplane. Mm -hmm. Now, on the ground, Mm -hmm. Volkswagen is recalling nearly 100,000 electric SUVs because the doors could fly off unexpectedly while driving. So take them off. I walked into work today. And Leah's monster truck has no doors or windows or anything. It's like a, it's like a, a sled, <laughs> wheels. Yeah, Just but take them off. Take them off. Charge and charge twenty thousand dollars more. <laughs> there you go. Congratulations, we're coming for you, Jeep. So unlike the Boeing plane, these cars aren't missing bolts. Volkswagen just basically says it's the door handles. They're faulty. Oopsies. What? You will take the car. You will take the car and drive it. The doors will come off. And you will keep with the driving. I will not have you bring the car back here. Nine, 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 nine. <laughs> All right. Sorry. I, it said to call the customer service line. Thank you for calling. Please take a short survey after the call. <laughs> have a very nice day. This is just how we talk. You will have the car with no doors. Feel the cool breeze. Nine, nine, nine. Thank you for calling. Please take a short survey. 95 Will Rock Daily Rewind. The Surgeon General has a new public health warning. And this time, the hazard isn't tobacco or alcohol. What is it? Even though we don't listen to those either. What is it? What is it? Mm-hmm. Well, it's parenting. 
According to the report, parents under pressure, two-fifths of parents say that they are often so stressed they can't function. And roughly half describe their stress as completely overwhelming. It is pretty difficult. It is so difficult. One third of parents with kids under 18 rate their stress an eight or higher on a a 10-point scale. So... Yeah, Surgeon General came out with a 35-page report saying this is an urgent public health issue. Well, you knew this. Were they? Were, are they running out of actual health, health things, things to look to, into? Uh, maybe. Wait, parenting is stressful? <laughs> <laughs> but where are they going to put that label Ooh, on my... On the kids, right? Oh, 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 you want it there. All right. On the pubic mound. Tattooed Warning, right above. the Surgeon General reminds you that t- parenting is stressful. All right. Or on the shaft. Yeah. <laughs> Where are they printing that label? Oh, my gosh. What are you going to do when it gets smaller and bigger with the print size? This is, uh, you just see the O and, and the T. Ot? What does that say? What does ot mean? <laughs> Talk dirty to me. You'll find out. You just said on the shaft on the radio. There is There is no filter. There's zero. You should have one. You should have a warning label tattooed on your forehead. (laughs) Warning, things about to come out of the mouth will leave you dumbfounded. You just said on the shaft on the radio. You heard, you know, we're on the radio, right? Is that what this red light means? This is not a, this is not a, right. There should be a warning printed somewhere. Or or just, you know, a red light would (laughs) would tell most people, I think. 95 Will Rock, Daily Rewind.